Hello! <laughs> So today is a super exciting day because I'm actually going to do a 24 hour Harry Potter readathon. So I'm going to see how many Harry Potter books I can read in 24 hours. So I'm very excited. So I've been wanting to do this for a while and I'm actually doing it with my friends Jamie and Caitlin. So Jamie has the channel Leah Reads and Caitlin has the channel Kate Literature. So we're all vlogging our experience. So I'll leave their vlogs in my description. But we also just asked anyone else who wants to join to join us if they want to. So we have some other people joining us. So it's going to be so much fun. We're going to do a live show soon after it commences. So it actually is starting in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a live show to read and it's just going to be super, super fun. So it would be really cool to start from the beginning, like start from obviously book one and see how many books I could read in 24 hours. But I'm actually in the middle of my reread of Goblet of Fire. So I'm actually just going to start from Goblet of Fire and see how many books I can get through. I'm actually like near the halfway point. So I'm on page three, three, seven. I'm on chapter 20. And I think this vlog will have mild spoilers, by the way. So if you really don't want to hear any sort of spoilers with the Harry Potter series, maybe don't watch this. <laughs> but yeah, and obviously because the books are rereads for me, it's going to be quite quick to get through them all. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to be alternating between reading it physically and listening to the audiobooks. I have the audiobooks by Stephen Fry, which I love. So yes, I'm going to alternate between physically reading and listening to the audiobook. I am obsessed with Animal Crossing still, so you know, I need to be able to play some Animal Crossing while listening to an audiobook. Also when I'm eating and stuff, like I'm really going to try to maximize this time and like, you know, read non-stop. Like I'm determined. I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is going to be so much fun. I'm also going through the Goblet of Fire Illustrated Edition for the first time. So while I'm reading Goblet of Fire, I'm flipping through the illustrations. So that is also a super nice experience. But yeah, so my goals, okay, I think I'll definitely obviously be able to finish Goblet of Fire. Hopefully I'll be able to finish Order of the Phoenix. And hopefully I'll be able to start Harper Print. So I think this is my goal. So I'm hoping to finish Goblet of Fire, finish Order of the Phoenix and maybe get like a bit into Half of Prince. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never read like one of the big Harry Potter books in one day before so this is going to be an experience and I'm excited and I'm ready and oh my gosh because especially I love Order of the Phoenix. I know some people say it's really slow but it's one of my favorite Harry Potter books. I love it so much. <laughs> I literally can't wait. <laughs> so yes I'll let you know when we're starting. Oh my gosh. One minute. One minute. I need to get my tweet ready. Oh my god, it's 10. <laughs> okay, so I don't even think I mentioned that I'm reading from 10 a.m. today to 10 a.m. tomorrow. But yeah, it's time to start reading. But I actually just need to make the thumbnail for the live show. So I'm actually going to pop in my earphone, start listening to my audiobook from where I'm up to in Goblet of Fire, edit my thumbnail, and then I'm going to switch to the physical book. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I just put my earphone in and it's Harry Potter music. Oh, yes. Okay, so I finished editing the thumbnail and scheduling the live and all that. So I actually got up to the Yule Ball, page 403. So the first task happened, Ron and Harry are finally friends again. But I actually think I'm going to continue listening to my audiobook because I haven't played Animal Crossing yet today. <laughs> And, you know, I need to do my daily tasks, so I'm going to just continue listening to my audiobook while I play Animal Crossing, and yeah. Okay, so I actually got up to page 493. I'm on the second task, but I'm just going to quickly, well, I'm just out of it because I need to go live. Yes, so I actually have made quite a bit of progress. So it's been like two hours since it started. I'm going to go live now to, um, you know, read with everyone. So I'm going to physically read now and yeah. Wait for me! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, put the peace sign up. Sorry, I'm uh. lying. <laughs>
Okay, so I just finished the live. I did get quite a bit of reading done. We were live for like two hours, so obviously we were talking and stuff, so I didn't get the maximum reading done, but I did get some reading done. So I got up to page 554, so I have this much left to go. So now I'm going to listen to the audiobook, clean up my room a bit, then I need to eat lunch, so I'm going to listen to the book while I eat lunch, and then I might actually continue playing Animal Crossing while I have the audiobook in because I was in the middle of doing some fencing work, <laughs> so I want to finish that off, so hopefully I'll get some more reading done and finish this soon, and I'm so excited to start Order of the Phoenix because it's just one of my absolute favourites. Okay, so I have finished my reread of Goblet of Fire. Not gonna lie, I'm a little stressed out because I thought I was gonna finish this way earlier. It is like 5 p.m. now. So yeah, I think I'm going to try to have minimal sleep tonight to be able to read the entirety of Order of the Phoenix. I'm kind of laughing now because I just feel like is it even possible? I really don't know. We're gonna try. So yes, obviously such an amazing time rereading this book. It's just so good and the movie just really didn't have a lot of the amazing aspects that the book has like Spew, you know, Rita Skeeter being an Animagus, all the clues about Mad-Eye Moody actually being Buddy Crouch Jr. with like the Marauders map when Harry sees Buddy Crouch on the map and everything and you know Harry just giving all his winnings to Fred and George so they can start their joke shop. Oh there's honestly too much to name like it's just so a good book and I really wish they made like a huge movie so they could include all the elements. The Goblet of Fire movie isn't my favorite like I love it still like I love all the movies of course but I just feel like they could have done it Goblet of Fire so much better but anyway such a good book absolutely loved it but I'm so freaking excited to get on to Order of the Phoenix let me go get it oh oh just look at this stunning Stunning book. I love it. This is actually one of my favorite of the US covers. I just love the blue. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm freaking excited to start this. But actually, before I talk more about this, um, I did finish obviously going through the illustrated edition because I finished now. And this is definitely my least favorite of the illustrated editions because I just feel like there were way less illustrations, some really good scenes that I imagine would be amazing illustrated. They didn't illustrate, so I was like, what's that about but you know obviously some stunning illustrations like i absolutely love this of when cedric and harry get to the graveyard and i really like this page but yeah i just wish that there were more illustrations so i'm getting a bit nervous for the order of the phoenix illustrated edition i feel like there aren't going to be that many illustrations because it's such a huge book and i don't want to make it like this thick so yeah of course i'm going to dive straight into order of the phoenix and I'm actually going to go downstairs, put on the Order of the Phoenix movie in the background, and read. <laughs> Okay, I came upstairs because I really just wanted to take my makeup off and get comfy. I'm comfy now. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm actually just going to get in bed and finish the movie while I read, obviously. I'm now on page 121. Um, and so far, my thoughts, obviously loving it. I was talking about this in my live that I had today, but I just don't understand people getting annoyed at Harry for being so angry and stuff because one, he's been through a lot. So it's so valid that he's so angry and honestly I would be even angrier than he is so <laughs> and two he is a teenager so like teenage angst you know what I mean so honestly like it's satisfying for me to read him like get angry because I'm like let it out let it out you know but oh my gosh that scene where Harry tells Vernon and Petunia that Lord Voldemort is back and Petunia has like the face of pure 
fear. He's like, I've never seen her face like that before. Powerful scene. Anyway, so I'm excited to continue reading one of my favourite books ever. I'm having such a good time and it's just so nice to read this while I have the movie in the background too. It's so good. Okay, so it's 9.20. I'm on page 279, chapter 14, Percy and Patwood. Percy sucks. So I am getting nervous because I have a headache. It's slightly getting better, like I had some Panadol, but it's definitely there. It's thriving. <laughs> I'm already getting tired. I literally slept early last night. Like I had like 10 hours of sleep or something because I was like, I want to be prepared for today. I don't know why I'm tired already. I mean, it did take me ages to fall asleep last night, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm still determined. Like I really want to be able to finish this, but I'm getting a bit nervous because I still have this big chunk to go but you know i just really want to be able to finish this so we'll see i'm actually about to get on a facetime with jamie and caitlin so hopefully i'll get you know re-energize and get some reading done with them so yeah of course we've had the iconic line have a biscuit potter mcgonagall i was talking about this with jamie and caitlin she's honestly one of the most underrated characters and i realized that she's actually my favorite hogwarts professor like she's just so so good like she's one of the best characters ever and i love her and uh, yeah she i absolutely i absolutely love her and of course we've been introduced to lena lovegood and when i was reading i actually forgot that i put this sticker in the book i did this a while ago like i put this sticker in i think i got this in an owl crate that was a nice surprise to see <laughs> okay so <laughs> it's 12 25 I don't really thought I could stay up until maybe two, but it's just not happening. I don't even know why my voice is like this right now. But I am so freaking tired. I am about to fall asleep. I did get up to page 374 of Order of the Phoenix. So, you know, it's not looking good. I don't think I'm going to finish this during the 24 hour period, but I am going to try to wake up early tomorrow. I have my alarm set for 5 a.m. Let's see if it works. So yeah, I plan to wake up early so I can continue reading, but I don't think I'll be able to finish it. So we- Good night. Okay, so it is 7.40. I woke up at like 6. So I've just been in my bed reading. So I'm now on page 492. Yeah, so obviously I have like two hours left of the readathon. Definitely not going to be able to finish this book, but I'm obviously still just gonna keep reading, see how much I can get through in the next two hours. But yeah, so I'm actually hungry now, so I'm going to listen to the audiobook and eat. Okay, so I finished breakfast. I have my tea. I'm on page five, four, three. Um, and we have an hour and a half to go. So I'm just going to read as much as I can in this hour and a half. And then I'll let you know where I get up to. We just had Harry's first occlumency lesson with Snape, which is one of my favorite aspects of this book. So we're at like such a good point in the book. So I'm just so excited to read. So the readathon finished 18 minutes ago. I was just taking a photo of the book so I could post it on Twitter and stuff like that and was just texting Caitlin and Jamie. But I'm here to wrap it up. So 
I got up to page 676 of Order of the Phoenix. Actually, I did finish at like 10.02, so a little bit of a cheat. <laughs> I just really wanted to finish the chapter, but I honestly finished at the best time. Well, actually, I want to keep reading, but like this scene that just happened was Fred and George escaping on their brooms and them saying, give her hell from us, please. Such an iconic scene. One of my favorite scenes. I am just loving this reread. I've had such a good time just reading Harry Potter for 24 hours. I've never done this before. So it was such a fun experience, especially doing it with Caitlin and Jamie and everyone else who joined. Oh, it was just so fun. But I am a little annoyed just because I'm like, I'm so close to the end. Like I could have done it. Um, I definitely could have done it if, one, if we didn't do the live show during the readathon, we realised that we should have done the live show before the readathon started so we could talk and like, you know, not waste reading time. And then we could do a reading sprint when it started. Anyway, so yeah, the live show was definitely super fun and I don't regret it. <laughs> but it definitely did waste reading time, like, because we did talk and stuff, even though we did read as well. And then also I was annotating, so obviously that slowed down the process. And then also I slept. <laughs> I actually did wake up at five and I was like, oh my gosh, I actually think I'm ready to wake up now. But I was like, okay, just 10 more minutes, and then it turned into an hour. But if I just slept a little bit less, I could have done it, but whatever. I still got a lot of reading done, which I'm so happy about. So, for Goblet of Fire, I read 397 pages. And Order of the Phoenix, I read 676 pages. I would love to see how many Harry Potter books I can read, like, starting at the beginning. Because I think you could definitely read, like, the first three and possibly four. I don't know. Maybe that's very much. Anyway, I had such a good time. If you vlogged this, leave it in the comments so I can watch. If you participated and didn't vlog, just let me know how you went and all that but also actually Kevin texted me like an hour and a half ago or something and he was like congratulations on 50k and I was like so yeah I hit 50k during this readathon which is just such a special time to hit it so thank you so 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 much it's literally just crazy like I just I can't even explain how thankful I am for all of you and yeah I honestly would never have believed that I'd be at this point like it's just such a big number and I'm just like who am I I know everyone says that but like it's just the truth like I just don't feel like it's even possible that I'm here but anyway <laughs> but yeah so I actually decided to listen to the audiobook and do a journal spread so I did a journal spread in my life journal Oh, scruffy <laughs> to celebrate 50k and to document it so yeah that was super nice to do that while i was listening to harry potter 2. oh wow this has been such a good 24 hour period <laughs> but yes yeah, so i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're having a good day and night let me know harry potter facts about you like your hogwarts house your favorite harry potter book stuff like that so i hope you're having a good day and night and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.